Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is step by step guide for FPGA implementation of JK flip flop. Myself, Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Ayandi Pune. Now, moving ahead with the today's topic. In previous session, we have gone through how to write a code for JK flip flop, uh, how to write a test bench, then uh, moving ahead with the simulation. Uh, in today's session, we'll be going ahead with the hardware implementation. And as I told you earlier in the previous sessions for creating the uh, hardware file, that is XDC file for the ALU, same way you need to go ahead with this also. Here first, Verilog code you need to write, that is already done. You need to create XDC, that is dialing design constraint file, where we'll be uh, putting which pin of your JK flip-flop we are connecting with the hardware that is the uh, IC over there. Then we are creating a bitstream file and uh, after that we will be connecting our hardware and programming the device. So now this particular board we are having and for that we need to configure these are the inputs and these are the outputs. So related to this input switches the numbering is mentioned over here and for the output that is LED number is, is mentioned over here. So in JK flip-flop, we are co configuring uh, XDC file and over there, we are giving clock. Clock is the input, reset is also input, J and K are the input. So we are configuring this V10 pin for the clock, this U11 pin for the reset and this L16 and J15 as a JK. You can give it over here also just to avoid confusion. I have just given it at the right hand side, right most side. And output we are configuring as a Q over here V11 and Q and as a V12. So you can change as per your device availability or as per your requirement, you can give any pin numbering out of this. So moving ahead with the tool. So previously, we have created this particular file where I have shown you the simulation waveform. Click on project manager. Now here constraint file is not created. Now we need to create it and for that you need to click on JK flip flop. Then you need to click on this schematic. When that has been done, you are able to see this particular part over here. That is the gate level netlist. Now click on IO planning. You are able to see your device and these are the pin A1, A2 where some pin are internally used and whatever you are having on a board that you need to configure. Here you are able to see the scalar ports. So at start you are able to see clock J, K, Q and Q out. That is QN. So I will be clicking over here LB CMOS 3.3 that is the 3.3 voltage you require to operate this IOS. This is the, again 3.3. So everywhere you need to mention it properly. Don't miss any one over there. Otherwise, it will be giving you an error. So once that has been done, you need to assign pin number as per discussion. So over here, I'll be assigned clock pin. So which is V11. I'll be assigning this particular reset. I am not able to see it over here. Let me check. Yes, reset is there. So I'll be giving it as a V, sorry, this this should be V10 because V11 is what? Output. So V10 is an input. Again, next input we are assigning to the reset which will be U11. So this will be U11. After that, J and K, L16 and J15. And output will be assigning as a V11 and V12. So this is V11 and V12. So that way everything is done. Now you need to save it. Give the name. So I'll be giving JKFF only. You can give any name. Once that has been done, you will be able to see, click on this project manager. Now you will be able to see that constraint file is getting created. Previously it was not there. Now this way, LV CMOS 3.3. We have assigned to all the pins, then we have assigning, assigned this particular pin numbers to that particular clock. So this is called as the XDC file. Again, one thing you need to add, but I'll be showing what error you are getting and how to write that particular statement over there. So once that has been done, I need to click on JK, that is the uh, source file and click on generate bitstream. Yes. Once it is generating a 
generating a test uh, that bit file over there some error you will be observing in this particular window so wait for that and why this is happening because it's because of clock so normally in an access 4k whatever you are having that pin which is there for the clock is e3 because there is a crystal which is connected to uh, uh, over there which is uh, getting the clock from e3 pin so now it you are able to see that implementation fail so meanwhile as e3 is the pin where you will be getting the clock and we have connected clock to the v10 instead of e3 and here we are giving the manual clock instead of the uh, automated clock because the fr clock frequency at which this circuit is operating or the kit is operating is 100 megahertz and that is too high to see the changes in your output and that's why manual clock we are giving and because of that it is showing you error so which error you are getting so you are getting this error so this is very important point now what you need to do copy this error so i'm copying this message and i'm pasting somewhere here in this file now what you need to do you need to copy this particular part that is set property clock dedicated route false because actually it should be connected to e3 pin where clock is uh, getting uh, generated but you are giving it somewhere to the v10 and that's why you need to write this statement that is set property clock dedicated route false and this way once that has been done save it and again go ahead with the bitstream generation now that error will get removed this is very important uh, whenever you are going ahead with the sequential circuit where clock is required you need to write this statement so this will be coming in your message window just you need to copy paste it properly so once that has been done you are able to see that write bitstream completed and you are able to see uh, one window pop up you need to now connect your hardware so in this message there is no error coming meaning of that your whatever the xdc file is created properly and whatever the process you have done that is properly working now once that has been done now you need to connect your hardware so over here i am connecting my hardware once that has been done click on open hardware manager so let me connect my hardware over there yes now i'll be clicking on open hardware manager so i have connected my hardware here it will be okay i'm cancelling this i don't want to implement wait here okay that has done uh, implementation also now click on project manager jk that is your file and here also you can click on open hardware manager on the left hand side uh, left uh, bottom corner once that has been done it will be detecting your target because already you have connected your hardware with your with your laptop means it will be detecting whatever device it will be having once that has been detected yes you are able to see this hardware is getting selected or detected finished now you need to click on program and then you need to program your device so this particular device you are having it is uh, taking that bit file generated and program so once that has been done i am able to see that uh, run bit is getting activated over here meaning of that your program is done properly so in next video i'll be showing you how to see the output how to give clock and that way uh, we'll be completing our hardware implementation so Thank you everyone, thank you for patience listening and happy learning.